Good afternoon, Lucas. You're through to Matthew at GC Motors in Harrogate. Thank you for your inquiry earlier on our stunning Range Rover SBR. Thought I'd just start by showing you our showroom, give you an idea a bit about who we are and what we do. So I've just we've got some nice pieces of kit in the showroom at the moment. The 6M5LT, a couple of McLarens back there, another AMG GTS, and my personal favourite. Uh, the Aventador with the Novitec body kit, which I think you'll agree does look stunning in orange. Just take you outside now. So we've got our dealership there, GC Motors in the flesh, looking lovely in the sunlight, which you can't say very often in Harrogate because it's never sunny and almost always raining. Just take you down to our forecourt now. So we are the largest independent single site dealership for sports and prestige vehicles in the country. We currently have about 120 cars in stock on site. Obviously not all the cars our not all the cars are up on the forecourt. That equates to roughly around 10 million pounds worth of stock. So I'll just give you a quick I'll give you a quick tour. But obviously we are all here to see the stunning black Range Rover SVR which I think it looks even better in the sunlight. Go just give you a quick pan of the vehicle now, Lucas. Just gonna briefly show you the condition of the vehicle. It has done 20,000 miles, so it is a used car, but for a used car, it's in immaculate condition. I mean, if you've got a magnifying glass out, you probably could find some small stone chips. But if we look at the car, I mean, even the front bumper, there's very, very minor stone chipping. The paintwork still looks absolutely beautiful. Now, these are the tyres we did speak about on the phone and the wheels we spoke about also. So we'll just have a quick, quick look at the tread on the tyres. As you can see, plenty of tread there if you pop your fingers in. And you mentioned you did prefer the 22 inch SVRs over the 23 inch over Finch alloys. So these are on the vehicle now. They do look nice with the blue brake calipers. As I previously mentioned, we do have a state of the art body shop on site, which we recently invested about a million pounds in uh, sometime last year. So what we do with the wheels, we guarantee no marks to the alloy wheels, no scratches to the paintwork, no dinks or scuffs. So we dip the wheels in an acid bath. We'd strip the lacquer. We then sand the wheels down and powder coat the wheels. Uh, this gives, obviously in, um, in black, this gives a really, really nice finish and it's not the same as simply spraying paint on the wheels, which you do find a lot of main dealers now. Um, if you were to curb your alloy, for example, which I'm not saying you're a bad driver, Lucas, it happens to us all. Um, if you were to curb your alloy, the, uh, the paint wouldn't simply start to peel off, which can happen a lot if it's just simply sprayed on. So I'll take you around the condition of the bump, the condition of the vehicle now. It does look stunning in black. You've got your quad exhaust. Get a bit closer to the bumper. Just get a bit closer to the paintwork as well. So like I said, there are the few stone chips on, uh, but the car does go through our prep centre. As well as the body, as well as the uh, as well as the body shop, we do have a state-of-the-art workshop on site, where anything that needs doing uh, to the car in terms of its preparation gets done with genuine Land Rover parts, genuine Land Rover diagnostic equipment, and also a Land Rover dealer trained technician. So we'll, now we'll just have a look at the inside of the vehicle because obviously that is just as important as outside of the vehicle. So we'll start with the boot. So obviously it is operated by the key. So there we go. Up we come. Just looking inside the boot now. Very, very good condition. Obviously it hasn't had much things in the boot this car because of its condition. So, power boot, come down now at the press of the button. Just gonna take you briefly inside the car. So it's got the carbon, so it's got the carbon fiber interior trim, which I think will look, which does look lovely. The Meridian sound system. Look at the door sills. The door sills do have a few scratches on because people do catch their feet, but for a car that's done 20,200 odd miles, they're in very good condition, as is the driver's footwell. Just take you round to the passenger side of the vehicle, Lucas, so we can have a look at exactly the same thing. Once again, very little mark, if any at all, on the sill, same as the footwell.
Now the leather of the car is very important and the condition of it. So a car that has, obviously the car has done 20,000 miles, but as you can see, the leather's not worn at all. It's more or less age related. Same with the passenger seat, just standard age related wear and tear, but in generally very good condition. Got the pan roof there. Should be lovely on a sunny day such as today. Just having a look at the back seats as well, the leather on the back seats. I mean, the front seats have obviously been sat in more than the back seat. No marks up and very little wear. The car does come with the rear heated seats, a very desirable option. So, jump in the car and start it up. Obviously, the car is keyless start, foot on the brake. Go you with that little pair, which is obviously one of the main features of the SPR. Obviously, you have had Jaguars before, so you know the 5 litre supercharger V8 is a very, very special engine. So, if you look at the leather in the centre, small mark there, nothing that wouldn't come out. Uh, no scratches to the centre console, as you can see. Look at the steering wheel. No, we've got the heated steering wheel. The car does come with the heated seats as well. And we can just pop the car off and jump back out. I'll just give you one last pan of the car. There we go. Thank you, very, thank you very much for your inquiry, Lucas. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll pop it across in an email shortly and we'll, I'll give you a call. Speak to you soon, Lucas. Bye-bye.